When I opened up the door, it was her! Let it snow. Let it snow. So the salad actually isn't too bad. I don't mind it. It's pretty darn good. I would probably get it again. The dressing is interesting. I haven't really had anything like that before, but it's pretty good. Hello, happy Friday. I just got out of work and then I went to my P.O. box. You guys, I am crying on the inside. I can't believe how sweet you guys are. It means the absolute world. It's just so kind. You guys are amazing. The sweetest group of people I have ever come across in my entire life. I will share everything you guys sent over once I get home. I just think it's adorable that you guys take the time to actually send me something. It's so sweet and so kind and I am forever grateful. These ornaments are amazing. I love them. They're like a heavy metal too. And then this hat with the glitter. It's so stinking cute. And this skincare set, I haven't really tried much from Glow Recipe, so I'm super excited to test these out. And then these little samples of Clinique, Peter Thomas Roth. This mask, I'm totally going to wear at work, so thank you so much for sending this. So sweet. And then a blue line flag. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to jump right into a little story time. <laughs> I'm sure you all are wondering what the heck I was talking about when I said that I arrested someone from my academy. <laughs> I will save that story for the end. It was a dispatch call, so someone had called it in. When I got there, the notes that were relayed to me when I was en route to the call was that a guy was huffing computer cleaner. This isn't the first person that I've encountered doing this. When I got there, he was rolling around on the ground, still continuing trying to huff this computer cleaner. Because if you see a can of computer cleaner, it has like a red stem at the end and like that's when he stuck up his nose and was just like huffing it. When I first got there, he like borderline looked like he was dying while rolling around on the ground and continuing to sniff this stuff. Borderline passes out. I obviously requests EMS to get there. Then he comes to. He's like, oh, what's going on? How do people even begin to do that? Like, it's just so insane. Technically, in New York, you can arrest someone for doing that kind of stuff in public. A good Samaritan stood by until the whole situation was cleared up. He's like, yeah, I don't want to leave you alone. It's such an image that I can't get out of my head. And then he didn't want to go to the hospital. I'm like, of course you don't. You're clearly 110% addicted to doing this. So you don't think that it's an issue. Yeah, that was a weird time. Someone called in a suspicious vehicle in basically the woods. <laughs> so when I got there, I didn't see anyone in the vehicle, but I saw two dogs. So in a police officer's mind, you're kind of thinking there's no one around, but there's two dogs and there's a vehicle. So you're thinking someone probably went into the woods and committed suicide or overdose just all of these things start going through your mind because you always think that the worst is going to happen as i started to approach the vehicle these two dogs came running out i didn't know if they were actually like chained to the vehicle at first or if they were just in there they were vicious dogs i thought that i was literally gonna have to tase one or shoot the dog it was like coming directly at us and if they weren't chained, I, I swear, we probably would have had our legs chewed off. That's how crazy and vicious these dogs were. I like ran into the woods. I just wasn't sure how long the leash was or if they even were connected to the car. It was so insane. Inch my way towards the police vehicle, but every move that I made, this dog was going haywire. The other one just said, screw it, and then went back into the car and just laid down. So then the owner finally came back and he's like, oh, I work with the railroad and I just need somewhere to park my vehicle. The dogs are fine. I gave them food and water. They have shelter. I'm like, you can't do that. You can't just park your vehicle in the woods in hopes that no one's gonna see it and that no one's gonna call it in and then just give your dogs food and water and leash them to your car. 
you can't do that. While I was off duty one time, I was in Five Below, which if you guys don't have a Five Below near you, it's kind of like a dollar store, but everything is $5 and below. <laughs> I saw this guy just like stuffing things into his jacket. I went over to him and I was like, you need to return that stuff right now. And he was like, oh, what are you talking about? And I was like, I'm a police officer and if you don't give it back, I'm gonna arrest you. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So he put it all back and the employees were watching the entire time and I was like, you need to go over there and apologize to them for stealing because they can technically get you arrested. He's like, no, I don't want to be arrested, I don't want to be arrested. So he went over to the employees and apologized, which was nice. Now, final story. Bom, bom, bom. Arresting someone that I went to the academy with. This girl had a bad home life. And I felt bad for her when we were actually in the academy together because she would talk about it, how her mom was basically a drug addict. But she seemed like she was on the right path and she was going to turn her life around and do well for herself. She starts dating this guy that was clearly a criminal at the end of this academy. She graduates the academy and then maybe three months later, I get a call to a store for a larceny and I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, okay, just routine stuff. When I opened up the door, it was her. I'm like, what are you doing? And obviously we recognize each other. And she's like, don't let them arrest me. And I'm like, I would be the one that's arresting you. And the store desires prosecution. So it's out of my hands. But it was so awkward to open up the door and then see her there. I can't believe she took such a drastic turn. So then when we got back to the police department, come to find out she was arrested for like falsifying business records as well. I couldn't believe it. You were doing so well in the academy and then you just took a turn because you were dating this loser who obviously took her down the wrong path. While we were at the police department, she was like, oh yeah, and I'm going to rehab. I'm like, you're doing drugs too? Like, I can't even believe that. It was so insane. Obviously, she never became a police officer. I don't even know what she's doing nowadays. Like, even the chief tried to help her. He always encouraged her to do well, and it just didn't work out. I had to arrest her for pettit larceny because she stole a bunch of, like, makeup. It was stupid stuff. It was so crazy. <sighs> if you're new to my channel, I put myself through the academy, so I paid for it. So anyone can technically do that because it's just uh, pre-employment. You're not getting hired by a police department until you graduate. So technically anyone can do it. Those are all the little stories that I have to share for right now. It's been so much fun posting for you guys and I know that you guys have been enjoying these videos which I really appreciate. I think I'm probably just gonna end the video here because it's 6.30, it's probably gonna take me a couple hours to edit and then I have to go to bed to start work all over again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do before you leave. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.